This is the REI Co-op Camp Dreamer Double and we'll be testing its comfort, ease of use, portability, and more. I paid about 195 bucks for this because it was 30% off during one of REI's sales. I got the self-inflating deluxe bed inside a carry bag and I also got a pump. For the most updated price, you can use the affiliate links below to check it out. The REI Camp Dreamer Double gets me about 3 and 3 quarter inches off the ground. When inflated to my personal preference, which is a little bit softer, my body does not touch the ground whether I'm sleeping on my back, stomach, or side. When I was leaning on my elbow and sitting down though, I could feel the ground a little, but it was still pretty comfortable because of all the foam inside. If I make the Dreamer Double really firm though, I can't feel the ground in any position, even when sitting down. I like it a bit softer because then the foam of the Dreamer Double contours to the shape of my body and gives my body plenty of support. But even when it was very firm, it never felt too stiff and was also pretty comfortable. The REI Dreamer Double measures about 81 by 54 inches, which is slightly smaller than a queen size in width. For me, I found that it fits two people very comfortably, and the 81 inches in length is also great for taller people. The sidewalls are vertical, which maximizes sleeping space. The sleeping surface is flat, not baffled. The polyester top fabric is also soft against the skin and is not noisy when moving around in bed. As for bouncing, it's very minimal even when there's another person sharing the mattress, which is one of the benefits of having a self-inflating mattress instead of an air mattress. The REI Camp Dreamer Double has two valves along the sidewall of the foot of the mattress, which are kind of flushed with the surface. Both valves are exactly the same and have both inflation and deflation functions. To inflate the REI Dreamer Double, unscrew the caps of both valves and turn them to the side that says inflate. This is a one-way valve that lets air in but doesn't let air leak out. I usually leave the Dreamer Double for about 10 minutes and it'll inflate to maybe about 85% of the maximum firmness. After that, I attach the open end of the included pump to one of the valves. You will hear it pop into place, then make sure the other side of the pump also says inflate, and pump about 10 times to fully inflate the Dreamer Double. This takes about 1 minute or so. You can pump it less if you like it a bit softer. Then I remove the pump and screw the caps back on tightly. How quickly the Dreamer Double self-inflates depends on how you store it at home. If you store it unrolled like this, it could self-inflate in as quickly as 10 minutes. If you keep it deflated and store it in a stuff sack like this for weeks, maybe even months at a time, like I do because I don't have a lot of space at home, it takes maybe 20 minutes. Could be more if you store it for much longer. Oh, and it'll self-inflate less, maybe 60-70%, so you'll have to manually pump it up more. For a slightly quicker inflation, I sometimes position both valves sideways like this, which allows for more air to flow in. But do remember to flip it back to the inflate side when topping it off with air and before screwing the caps back on. To release some air from the Dreamer Double to make it a bit softer, just unscrew the caps of one of the valves and push it in slightly to let out some air. To deflate the REI Camp Dreamer Double, unscrew the caps of both valves again and turn them this time to the side that says deflate. Then I fold the Dreamer Double in thirds, use my body weight to push the air out, and then half it to get as much air out as possible. This usually takes me about one and a half minutes or so. Folding it up properly will take another three and a half minutes and I'll show you how to do that later. So the full deflation usually takes me about five minutes. If you forget any of this, there are instructions about the belt on the mattress itself, which is really neat. The REI Dreamer Double comes with a convenient carry bag. It's not exactly oversized, but it fits the mattress bag in easily, even if it isn't fully deflated. It's big enough to fit the pump as well, and I like to deflate the pump for easier storage. The carry bag also has a shoulder strap for easy carry. After deflating, the smallest pack size I could get the REI Camp Dreamer Double down to is about 29 by 15 by 12 inches. Here's what it looks like back in the carry bag beside the deflated included pump and a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. The packed size will change depending on how you fold it and how much air you push out of it. For me personally, I like to fold it in half before rolling it up. When rolling it up, I use my hands to grip the sides of the Dreamer Double while using my knees and body weight to push air out. It takes me about one and a half minutes to roll it up for the first time. I usually unfold it and roll it up a second time to push just a little bit more air out, which takes another 30 seconds. Then I put the straps back on before standing it up and placing it back into the carry bag, which is another one and a half minutes. The REI Dreamer Double weighs 11.6 pounds for just the mattress alone. The pump weighs 11.8 ounces and the carry bag weighs 10.4 ounces.
The REI Camp Dreamer Double has an aura value of 6.5, so it's well insulated and can be used for all seasons, including winter. Unfortunately, I did not get to test this out, but the reviews seem to show that it's well insulated and was warm even in temperatures down to 30 degrees. I use the Dreamer Double only in summer temperatures between 60 to like 80 and never felt too hot even in higher temperatures. It's so enormously heavy that backpacking is out of the question, so you're limited to car camping. The included pump also doubles as a pillow, and I usually inflate it before using it as a pillow. Not the most comfortable camping pillow that I have, but it's okay, and it's better than no pillow. Here's what the Dreamer Double looks like inside a Coleman two-person sand dome tent. The length of the Dreamer Double extends from one end of the tent to the other, so when inflating, there's no space to attach the included pump to the valve to add more air in. When self-inflating, the Dreamer Double doesn't inflate completely. This is about as much as it'll inflate, so I would recommend using this in larger tents. Unless, of course, you use one of these electric pumps to inflate it fully. If so, the Dreamer Double actually fits just nicely into the Coleman two-person sun dome tent, although there's almost no space for gear at all. It also doesn't reduce livable space, and I have plenty of space to sit up and also to crouch. And here's what the REI Dreamer Double looks like inside a Coleman 4-person dome tent when placed horizontally. And here's the Dreamer Double placed vertically inside the tent. There isn't enough space to fit two of these mattresses, but having just one mattress gives me plenty of space for my camping gear. I also have lots of livable space and can almost stand up. The REI Camp Dreamer Double is made of horizontally cored, self-inflating foam with welded seams. The top is made of polyester which feels smooth and very soft, while the bottom feels less smooth and more rugged. When I first inflated the Dreamer Double, I found the mattress plush and comfortable. However, on the first night that I slept on the Dreamer Double, it lost all of the additional air that I pumped into it within one or two hours and I found myself sleeping on just the foam. But I was too tired to get up, so I actually slept on my back through the night without topping it off with air. The foam of the Dreamer Double is very thick, so it's actually sort of comfortable even after losing air. When I tried to find a leak, I could hear air leaking around one of the valves. And because the Dreamer Double has quite a few negative reviews about leaky valves, I assumed it was a valve that was faulty and that the turning of the valve did not give it a very tight seal. So I tried all kinds of things to stop it from losing air, but every night the Dreamer Double kept losing air. Eventually, I realized the problem. There were two holes in the mattress very near to one of the valves. Once I patched up the holes, air retention became good, and I slept on the REI Dreamer Double with another person three nights in a row without having to top off any air at all. The high flow TPR valves of the Dreamer Double did not leak for me because I made sure to align the valves properly and also to tighten the screw on caps on the valves. The included pump is versatile, doesn't need batteries or charging, and comes with the same high flow TPR valve, which is good quality as well. I do use the pump as a pillow occasionally and haven't had any leaking so far. The stuff sack feels high quality and seems to be pretty strong. The Dreamer Double would have been a great quality self-inflating mattress if it didn't come with two holes that kept leaking air. I know it's just a manufacturing defect because there are quite a few 5 star reviews without air leakage, but still I expected better quality control even for the discounted price of 200 bucks. For pros, I found the REI Camp Dreamer Double warm and very comfortable whether you like it soft or firm. It's very plush and bouncing is minimal which is important when two people are sharing a bed. It's almost a queen size which is great for those who are taller and those who prefer bigger mattresses. It's also relatively inexpensive for a self-inflating camping mattress when it goes on sale. I think the Dreamer Double is one off if not the least expensive big name self-inflating mattress for the size. Inflation is also super easy. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button. Thank you, and I really appreciate it. However, for cons, deflation is not quite so easy. For me to deflate the Dreamer Double on my own, it's a mini 5 minute workout. It'll be much easier with two people, for sure. It's also very, very bulky, even after I try to squeeze out as much air as possible. It's my most bulky two-person camping mattress by far, and check out what it looks like beside a packed-up Coleman two-person sun dome tent and my packed-up Coleman two-person dome tent. Insane. My Dreamer Double also came with two small holes, which is a manufacturing defect for sure because it leaked even on my first night of use, so I wish quality control was better. To be fair though, apart from this defect, I think it's fairly durable because I had no other leaks once I patched up the holes in the few weeks that I was using this. 
Overall, I would recommend the REI Dreamer Double when it goes on sale. I think I definitely got my money's worth because I paid less than 200 bucks for this and I'm really happy with how soft and comfortable this is. But the full price, and right now it's like 279 bucks, I think it's a little bit pricey and doesn't give quite as much value for money. At full price, I'd rather go for the Expat Mega Med, which is 299 for a medium double and 349 for a long white double, which is not that much more. Also, I would recommend the Dreamer Double only if you have the space to accommodate it in your car and also at home for long-term storage. It's also not the most ideal for a two-person tent, so bigger tents would be better. And please remember to test it out a few times before your one-year warranty with REI is up in case you happen to have issues like mine. The bottom line is that if you don't have a super large budget for a high-end self-inflating sleeping pad like the Xbed Mega Mat, wait for the REI Dream Double to go on sale, which happens a few times a year, and then pick it up. At the discounted price, it's like almost half the price of the Mega Mat Long White Double, and the Dreamer Double is also 3 inches longer and 2 inches wider than the Expat Mega Mat Long White Double, so you have like a ton of space for half the price, which is seriously incredible. To find out how the Dreamer Double compares against the Expat Mega Mat and 8 other 2-person camping mattresses, check out this video right here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.